is extremely difficult to tell the exact number of various manufacturing processes existing and are being practiced presently because a spectacularly large number of processes have been developed till now and the number is still increasing exponentially with the growing demands and rapid progress in science and technology. However, all such manufacturing processes can be broadly classified in four major groups. Number 1. Shaping or Forming Processes Manufacturing a solid product of definite size and shape from a given material taken in three possible states. In solid state, for example, forging rolling, extrusion, drawing etc. In liquid or semi-liquid state, for example, casting, injection molding etc. In powder form, for example, powder metallurgical process. Number 2. Joining processes which includes processes like welding, brazing, soldering etc. Number 3. Removal processes which includes processes like traditional or non-traditional machining, grinding etc. And number 4. Regenerative manufacturing processes. This includes the production of solid products in layer by layer from raw materials in different form like liquid, for example, stereolithography powder, for example, selective sintering. Sheet, for example, laminated object manufacturing, in short, LOM. And, wire, for example, fused deposition modeling, in short, FDM. Out of the aforesaid groups, regenerative manufacturing is the latest one which is generally accomplished very rapidly and quite accurately using CAD and CAM for rapid prototyping and tooling. Now, Let's look into the purpose, principle, and definition of machining. First, what is the purpose of machining? Most of the engineering components such as gears, bearings, clutches, tools, screws and nuts etc. need dimensional and form accuracy and good surface finish for serving their purposes. Preforming like casting, forging etc. generally cannot provide the desired accuracy and finish. For that such preformed parts, called blanks, need semi-finishing and finishing and it is done by machining and grinding. Grinding is also basically a machining process. Machining to high accuracy and finish essentially enables a product to fulfill its functional requirements, improve its performance, and prolong its service. Then comes principle of machining. The basic principle of machining is typically illustrated in this figure showing the principle of machining in a turning process in a lathe machine. A metal rod of irregular shape, size and surface is converted into a finished rod of desired dimension and surface by machining by proper relative motions of the tool work pair. So, finally, how can we define machining? In very simple words, machining is an essential process of finishing, by which jobs are produced to the desired dimensions and surface finish, by gradually removing the excess material from the preformed blank in the form of chips, with the help of cutting tools moved past the work surfaces.